Antigua and Barbuda. Table of Contents, Antigua and Barbuda Antigua and Barbuda are two small islands with an interesting and long history. All about this island nation. With visiting and touring information. Geography. History. Attractions. And other points of interest. Dr. Sidney Socloff. Dr. Sidney22 at gmail.com. 2023. Narration by Dr. Sidney Soklov, Zoe Phonemes, and Nathan Koltov. For a complete discussion of YouTube navigation, please go to tiny.one/ytnavigator. Antigua and Barbuda. This is the flag of the nation of Antigua and Barbuda. What beautiful land the sun lights up in the distance, Christopher Columbus. Upon first sighting Antigua in 1493. What is Antigua and Barbuda? The tiny island nation of Antigua and Barbuda is an independent country but is a member of the Commonwealth of Nations, which was formerly known as the British Commonwealth of Nations. This is the Commonwealth of Nations, formerly the British Commonwealth of Nations. The head of state is King Charles III, represented in Antigua and Barbuda by a governor-general. Executive Bowie is in the hands of the Prime Minister, the head of government. Where is Antigua and Barbuda? The tiny island nation of Antigua and Barbuda is in the Lesser Antilles. The tiny island country of Antigua and Barbuda is in the Eastern Caribbean in the group of islands known as the Lesser Antilles in 17 degrees north of the equator. Antigua and Barbuda is in the region of the French West Indies, along with St. Martin, St. Barts, Guadeloupe, and Martinique although they are not associated with France. It is one of the smallest nations in the Western Hemisphere. The distance between the two islands is about 30 miles or 50 kilometers. Also, part of this island country is the tiny uninhabited island of Redonda. Here are the Lesser Antilles in the islands of Antigua and Barbuda. Barbuda should not be confused with the island country of Barbados, much further south and east. The capital and principal city is St. John's, on Antigua. The main settlement on Barbuda is Codrington. Barbuda is a flat coral island with an area of only 68 square miles. Antigua is the largest of the English-speaking Leeward Islands, about 14 miles long and 11 miles wide, encompassing 108 square miles. The highest point on Antigua is Boggy Peak, 1319 feet, located in the southwestern corner of the island. How big are Antigua and Barbuda? The total area of the three islands is only 171 square miles, 443 square kilometers. That is 2.5 times the area of Washington, D.C. What does Antigua and Barbuda look like? Unlike the other Leeward Islands, the main island of Antigua has no forests, mountains, or rivers and few springs. Prolonged droughts occur, and rainfall averages about 40 inches, 100 centimeters, annually. Rainwater catchments and a desalinization plant supplement the water supply. The population of Antigua and Barbuda is 82,000, of which almost half live in the capital city of St. John's. 
Most of the population are descendants of the slaves that used to work in the sugar plantations. But there are also groups of Europeans, notably Irish, British and Portuguese. While the official language is English, most of the locals speak Patois, a form of Creole English. This is the population distribution of Antigua and Barbuda by ethnicity. We see that the great majority are black, primarily descendants of slaves brought from Africa. The History of Antigua and Barbuda In 1493 Christopher Columbus landed on Antigua, named after a church in Seville, Spain. Antigua means ancient in Spanish. The island was colonized in 1632 by English settlers who grew tobacco there. Later in the century, sugar cane proved to be a more profitable crop, and slaves were brought to the islands to work on the sugar cane estates. 1674 Sir Christopher Codrington established the first large sugar plantation on Antigua. By the early 1700s, 170 sugar mills are established. This picture by William Clark shows enslaved people harvesting ripe sugar cane. The canes took about 12 months to mature and grew to a height of 9 or 10 feet. In 1784, the legendary Admiral Horatio Nelson sailed to Antigua during the Napoleonic Wars and established Great Britain's most important Caribbean base. Antigua was also an important U.S. base during World War II. The enslaved people were emancipated in 1834. A fire in 1841, an earthquake in 1843, and a hurricane in 1847 were severe blows to the economy. The naval dockyard closed in 1854 and was reopened in 1961 as a historical monument and yachting center. Until 1956 Antigua was administered by the British under the governor of the Leeward Islands. From 1958 to 1962, Antigua was a member of the West Indies Federation in 1967 it became an associated state in the Commonwealth. The neighboring Barbuda and Redonda were dependencies of Antigua. In November 1981, the three island nation became independent as Antigua and Barbuda. St. John's St. John's is the capital and largest city of Antigua and Barbuda. This is the port area of St. John's. St. John's has a population of 33,000, making it home to about half of the entire nation's people. The skyline of St. John's, the capital and largest city of Antigua and Barbuda, is dominated by the magnificently evocative white Baroque towers of St. John's Cathedral, built in 1845. This is St. John's Harbor in Antigua with the cathedral in the background. St. John's is a hub for shopping and dining with its cruise ship dock and several hotels. The church is now in its third incarnation as earthquakes in 1683 and 1745 destroyed the previous structures. The towers saw the first sight of Antigua for many of the island's visitors yearly. This is Market Street in St. John's. The Museum of Antigua and Barbuda has exhibits on the early history of the island. It is housed in the Colonial Courthouse, 1750. The museum is located close to the cruise dock on Long Street and one block up from High Street. The museum is housed in the Colonial Courthouse, constructed in 1747 on the site of the first city market, and is the oldest building still in use in the city.
the Court of Justice was held on the ground floor, with meeting rooms for the Legislative Council and Assembly upstairs. The museum displays Arawak and colonial artifacts recovered on archaeological digs on the islands. It also features a life-size replica of an Arawak house and models of sugar plantations. This is St. Barnabas Anglican Church. This is a view of St. John's. This is an oath a view of St. John's. This is another view of St. John's. This is a colonial-style building on Redcliffe Street in St. John's. Redcliffe Street is two blocks south of High Street and directly east of the cruise dock. Nelson's Dockyard In the early 18th century, the British Royal Navy recognized the strategic importance of English Harbour in protecting ships from hurricanes and its position at the south of the island for monitoring French naval activity. Nelson's Dockyard and English Harbour are about 15 miles from St. John's. Throughout the 18th century, the dockyard grew in importance as it was the only harbour in the Eastern Caribbean large enough for safe naval ship repairs. Nelson's Dockyard is a cultural heritage site and marina in English Harbour on Antigua. It is part of Nelson's Dockyard National Park, which also contains Clarence House and Shirley Heights, and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Nelson's Dockyard is named after Admiral Horatio Nelson, who lived in the Royal Navy Dockyard from 1784 through 1787. This is a view of Nelson's Dockyard. This is the Dockyard Museum, formerly Admiral's House. The Dockyard Museum has exhibits regarding the Dockyard's history and current archaeological research on the island. Nelson's Dockyard Museum also explains the 20th century return of sailing ships in Nelson's Dockyard National Park. There is also a small Nelson's room with a life-sized portrait of Nelson research through archaeological means. Nelson's Dockyard Museum in the Naval Office's house interprets the story of English Harbour and of the people that worked in this famous Georgian Royal Naval Yard. These are boat house pillars at Nelson's Dockyard. The historic Clarence House was built in 1804 for the Navy Commissioner. It overlooks the dockyard and was designed to impress visiting admirals, captains, and royally appointed governors on their tours of duty. With the decline of the dockyard as a naval installation, the house was turned over to the governor of the Leeward Islands as his country residence, and by the 1860s, it was used for visiting dignitaries. Today it is a museum open to the public. Shirley Heights is a restored military lookout and gun battery. The lookout is a high point, about 490 feet, that affords a superb view of English and Falmouth harbors, and is the best view in Antigua. This is a restaurant at Shirley Heights in the former Ordnance Building. Some scenes of Antigua and Barbuda. This is a historical view of St. John's Harbor in Antigua. This is an aqueduct taken from 10 views in the island of Antigua by William Clark. This is a view from Fig Tree Drive. This is a coconut vendor. A scene of Antigua and Barbuda. The beaches of Barbuda. The money of Antigua and Barbuda. The legal currency of Antigua and Barbuda is the East Caribbean dollar. 
The East Caribbean dollar, XCD, exchange rate is 1 US dollar equals 2.7 East Caribbean dollars. This has been a fixed rate since 1976. The East Caribbean dollar, currency codex CD, is the currency of the eight members of the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States. The East Caribbean dollar has existed since 1965 and is normally abbreviated with the dollar sign, or alternatively EC, to distinguish it from other dollar-denominated currencies. It is divided into 100 cents. The Economy of Antigua and Barbuda Tourism provides about 70% of the colony's income and is the largest employer in the islands. Industries include manufacturing rum and assembling garments and appliances. The government operates a fish processing corporation and a petroleum refinery. Antigua's primary crop is sugarcane. Though mangoes, melons, limes, eggplant, pumpkin, and sweet potatoes are also grown. Will IT be hot in Antigua? Or will IT be very hot? There is low humidity year-round. Temperatures generally range from the mid-70s in the winter to the mid-80s in the summer. Annual rainfall averages only 45 inches, making it the sunniest of the eastern Caribbean islands. And the northeast trade winds are nearly constant, flagging only in September. Hail of the average high and low temperatures throughout the year in St. John's in degrees Fahrenheit. There is not much change between winter and summer. Hail of the average high and low temperatures throughout the year in St. John's in degrees Celsius. Rainfall in Antigua Here is the rainfall throughout the year in St. John's. The yearly total is 45 inches or 1140 millimeters. Recommended videos, Antigua and Barbuda. Recommended video, Antigua Vacation Travel Guide, Expedia. Recommended video, 9 things to do in Antigua and Barbuda. Recommended video, Discover Antigua and Barbuda. Recommended video, 15 of the most beautiful places to visit in Antigua. Recommended video. A super quick history of Antigua and Barbuda. Recommended video, History of Antigua and Barbuda. Recommended video, YouTube navigation. Recommended videos. Walking tours of Antigua. For a street level experience of Antigua, view the video walking tours. It's the next best thing to being there. Recommended videos, walking tour of Antigua and Barbuda playlist. Recommended videos. For an immersion into the traditional music of the Caribbean, view the playlist. It's the next best thing to being there. Recommended videos, music of the Caribbean playlists. Table of contents, Antigua and Barbuda. Thanks for watching. Please watch some more of my great videos.